good morning students uh, today we are going to learn uh, one more new topic that is mean value this is uh, one more application of definite integral so we learned how to find area under the curve and volumes of solids of revolution now we learn mean value in next class we learn uh, rms value now coming to the mean value what is the definition of a mean value and the problems that we are going to solve in this uh, video so let us go to what is the mean value of a function on an interval so mean value the mean value of a function y is equal to f of x over the interval a to b closed interval a to b is given by mean is equal to that is mean value is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx so this is a formula for mean value you see a function is given y is equal to f of x and a closed interval from a to b then the formula is 1 by b minus a upper minus lower from integration a to b f of x dx so this is very simple formula for a mean value but you will get always a 5 marks from this mean value so this is a fifth unit we are starting the fifth unit so you see more number of marks here at about 27 marks 1 mark questions 3 3 marks questions 3 and 5 marks questions 3 so total 27 marks from this uh, chapter and first one is a mean value and this definition may come for one mark that is write or define a mean value of a given function over a closed interval so the mean value of a given function y is equal to f of x over the interval closed interval a to b is given by mean value is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx so this is many times repeated per one mark and the problem definitely it comes for five marks so from mean value you will you will get six marks so total from the chapter you will get 27 marks and from mean value itself you will get five marks plus one that is six marks so very very important chapter that we are covering is the fifth unit mean value rms value and numerical integration only three topics and you will get 27 marks and this is a key to pass the third semester so request all the students be listen carefully do the homework practice the problems and understand the concepts that makes you clear the third step very easy one very easy one so this is my mean value so what is the mean value guys so f, f of x is a function and a closed interval defined on closed interval a comma b then its mean value over the closed interval is given by 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx so this is mean value formula you have to remember this formula this is a mean value in every problem we are going to write the formula why we are going to write i already told you whenever uh, there is a need whenever uh, the formula occurs you have to write it down you have to write in the box when you are solving the problem and the prob formula you are using that formula you have to write uh, so that the examiner is going to give you full marks so in every problem you are going to the write the formula and this formula you will get for one mark write the mean value of a given function in a closed interval a comma b is mean value is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x takes so lower limit is a and upper limit is b so a b so that's it so this is my mean value 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x takes so this is what you have to write when whenever an examiner ask you to write a mean value or define a mean value and for a given function so very simple one more time i'm reading reading it noted down the mean value of a function y is equal to f of x over the interval a to b closed interval a to b is given by mean value that is mean simply you can write mean mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx this is a formula for mean value let us go for problems and you see guys this mean value definition damn surely comes for one mark because there are only four definitions in this chapter and among the four you will get three and only four concepts are there you will get 
three three marks questions and three five marks questions. One five marks question damn surely comes from this mean value. That's it, guys. So very important topic here. After we are dealing every topic and every session is important as far as your examination is concerned. So be careful, listen careful, practice careful, and understand it and score the marks. That's it. So this is my the definition of a mean value. The mean value of a function y is equal to f of x over the interval close a to b is given by mean is equal to one by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx. Once you see the problem. problem once you do the problem you will get more clarity and meanwhile you try to bad the formula that is mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx are you getting guys so so let me go to uh, the problems part just to remember a simple formula based on problems that's it a function is given an interval is given from that you have to write uh, calculate the mean that is 1 by b minus a b is an upper limit and a is a lower limit 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx that's it next 40 minutes we are going to solve problems i will try to cover all types of problems so that you can do any problem that comes in examination so be careful listen careful so let me go to the problem spot this is my first problem guys you see this is my first problem what is that what the problem says is find the mean value of y is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square in the interval closed interval 0 to 1 so here yeah, this problem it's it's came many number of times in examination and very easy also but very easy but very important a repeated problem maybe the limits may be change but many times it is repeated same function so what read it what is that the my first problem is find the mean value of y is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square in the interval 0 to 1 so what is a a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 and f of x f of x equal to 1 by 1 plus x square are you getting guys by the formula y is equal to f of x here y is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square so what is f of x f of x is 1 by 1 plus x square closed interval a to b now closed interval 0 to 1 so a is equal to 0 that is lower limit is 0 and upper limit is 1 that i think you can get it so let me write, you have to find mean value so let me write, so this is the formula for mean value just now i given so what is the mean value guys the mean value is mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx so at place of a it is 0 and b is equal to 1 and f of x equal to 1 by 1 plus x square write down in the formula what you'll get 1 by 1 minus 0 integration 0 to 1 1 by 1 plus x square dx integration of 1 by 1 plus x square integration of 1 by 1 plus x square is tan inverse x is tan inverse x so what definite in the fundamental theorem of integral calculus what it is integrate then upper limit minus of lower limit so 1 by 1 minus 0 that is 1 integration 0 to 1 1 by 1 plus x square integration of 1 by 1 plus x square is tan inverse x so if you don't know the this basic standard formulas then you should go to go back to the first chapter read all formulas then come back so this is tan inverse x from 0 to 1 so upper limit minus of lower limit by fundamental theorem is that for upper limit is 1 and lower limit is 0 that is tan inverse 1 minus tan inverse 0 tan inverse 1 minus tan inverse 0 one can be written as one can be written as tan 45 degrees 45 means pi by 4 so tan pi by 4 and 0 can be written as tan 0 tan inverse tan cancel tan inverse tan cancel pi minus pi by 4 minus 0 that is pi by 4 so what is mean value the mean value is pi by 4 the mean value is pi by 4 this is very simple problem so by this you are able to get a clarity so what is mean value and how to 
calculate the mean value nothing else one more the application of definite integral is finding mean value of function over a given interval so very simple formula mean value is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx that's it just apply the formula so substitute the things f of x lower limit a upper limit b then integrate and upper limit minus of lower limit gives answer so this is my first problem and for this function on closed interval 0 to 1 the mean value is pi by 4 are you getting are you getting guys so this so maybe interval changes like uh, it is from 1 to root 3 sometimes or it is uh, 1 by root 3 to root 3 or sometimes like that uh, the interval may be changed but function is definitely many times repeated at about 10 times are you getting guys this is a mean value of a function y is equal to 1 by 1 1 by 1 plus x square and the interval integral 0 to 1 is pi by 4 so let me quickly go to the next problem guys shall I yes this is the time to go and now the second problem is find the mean value of find the mean value of y is equal to x square plus 5 on closed interval 0 to pi 0 to 5 so find the mean value of y is equal to x square plus 5 on closed interval 0 to 5 find the mean value of y is equal to x square plus 5 on 0 to 5 are you getting so just uh, write the formula and substitute the things so that you will get answer one minute i will give for time for one minute Yes. Did you able to continue? Are you able to do it? One minute, one minute. Where it is, man? Yes. Here we are. Second problem. Find the mean value of y is equal to x square plus 5 on closed interval 0 to 5. So write down the formula and substitute the things so you will get this is a formula mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx substitute a equal to 0 b is equal to 5 and f of x equal to x square plus 5 are you able to do it i give in time for you if you are able to do it fine and good otherwise follow me 1 by 5 minus 0 integration 0 to 5 x square plus 5 into dx x square integration is x power of n integration x power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 x power of 2 integration x power of 3 by 3 plus 5 constant outside dx integration x so integration is x cube by 3 plus 5x by fundamental theorem of integral calculus what to do is you have to integrate after that upper limit minus half lower limit substitute upper limit upper limit is 5 that is 5 cube by 3 plus 5 into 5 minus of lower limit is 0 and it is 0 that's why I am not writing anything. So what is 5 cube? 5 cube is equal to 125 and 5 into 5 is 25. Take LCM so it is 125 plus 75 that is 200 by 3 1 by 5 into 200 by 5, 3 so 5 1 ja 5 40 ja answer is 40 by 3 so answer is 40 by is my answer are you getting guys so this is my second problem finding mean value of a function on a given interval very simple formula and very simple problems I think you are able to do this second problem so let me go to the next problem this is my third problem find the mean value of y is equal to x square between x equal to 2 and x equal to 3 so don't confuse may he may give sometimes an interval sometimes he may give like this x is equal to 2 and x equal to 3 so both are same that is interval from 2 to 3 instead of giving interval 2 to 3 he may sometimes give like this x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3 so don't confuse just substitute integrate and you will get answer are you getting so find the mean value of y is equal to x square between x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3 
are getting so so what is the formula what is the formula in every problem whenever we did two problems and in our two problems we are written the mean value formulas there so why why i am writing always a mean value formula because you should it it makes us to remember perfectly so what is a mean value mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx so mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx so what is f of x here f of x is equal to x square and a is equal to 2 b is equal to 3 substitute you get so what you get 1 by 3 minus 2 integration 2 to 3 x square dx x square integration is x power of n integration x power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 so x square integration is x power of 3 by 3 so what you get 1 by 1 x power of 3 by 3 so upper limit minus half lower limit by fundamental theorem of integral calculus by fundamental theorem of integral calculus what to do integrate then upper limit minus half lower limit 1 by 3 constant outside upper limit 3 cube lower limit 2 cube 27 minus 8 it is 19 19 by 3 is answer very simple question and very simple answer very simple formula and very simple problems but you will get for 5 marks are you getting you see all the three problems very very simple problems that i covered and all of them are at 10 plus times they are repeatedly came in examination this is very sweet and short chapter and for every topic you will get marks so this simple formula and based on problems we are getting but you will get that formula that mean value formula for one mark and problem on the mean value for five marks sometimes you will get two questions one for three marks and one for five marks so so many marks you are going to get so understand the concept very simple concept what is the mean value of a function over an interval is mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx so uh, substitute all the given values a value b value f of x value integrate then do upper limit minus half lower limit as per fundamental theorem of integration then finally calculate the mean now the mean is equal to 19 by 3 here so this is my third problem so what is the time left guys another of an hour so what you are going to do in another of an hour so let us try to cover more problems guys uh, so let us take one more problem uh, yes this is my fourth problem find the mean value find the mean value of y is equal to log x on closed interval 1 to e find the mean value of y is equal to log x on closed interval 1 to e so i think uh, is it clear i think as yes, as yes, you can able to see but it is not so clear but you can is able to see it so what's the function guys what's the function function is y is equal to log x function is y is equal to log x and the interval is 1 to e so what is f of x f of x is log x a is equal to 1 and b is equal to e are you getting these things uh, we already did three problems so uh, by this uh, by this time you are able to find what is f of x given function y is equal to log x log x is f of x what is lower limit and what is upper limit so closed interval a to b a is a lower limit b is an upper limit so here a is equal to 1 and b is equal to e. these things i think everybody can able to get it now these simple things substitute in the formula <coughs> excuse me so what is the formula guys the formula of a mean value is i am writing in every problem you see it you have to also practice like this mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx what is the mean mean is equal to just in the first slide we learn what is the mean value definition so that's what we are telling that is 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx so what is a a is equal to 1 and b is equal to e f of x is equal to log x substitute what will get 1 by e minus 1 integration 1 to e log x dx integration of log x do you remember integration of a log x i said you you have to remember as it as a formula when i deal with uh, integration by parts integration by parts that is a product rule we calculated what is the integration of log x 
So if you don't remember, you go and check the notes where you have to do is integration by parts. That is a product rule. In that, in the, there we learned how to find log x integration. Integration of log x. I said you have to remember integration of log x is x log x minus x. There we noted down that the formula that integration of log x. And if you don't know, if you are unable to remember what is integration of log x. I said you, you have to remember. So, that is integration of log x is x log x, log x minus x. And if you are don't unable to remember, then apply product rule here. Write log x is equal to 1 into log x. What you have to write? You have to write log x as a 1 into log x. Once you write 1 into log x, it is a product rule. 1 is algebraic function and log x is a logarithmic function. Annihilate algebraic first and logarithmic second u is equal to 1 and log x is equal to v for u dash it is 0 and log x integration of highlight logarithmic first and algebraic second so u is equal to log x and v is equal to 1 for log x derivative of log x is 1 by x and integration of 1 into dx is x substitute in u integration u into v that is u into integration of v minus integration of u dash into integration of v dx all dx substitute in that you will get the answer of this integration of log x integration of log x is x log x minus x from 1 to e. So, what fundamental theorem of integral calculus says after integration then substitute upper limit minus half lower limit. Now, substitute upper limit minus half lower limit. So, 1 by e minus 1 upper limit is e e log e minus e minus log 1 minus 1. Log e is equal to 1. So, e minus e becomes 0 and log 1 is equal to 0, 0 minus 1. Minus half minus 1 is 1. So, this is 0 and this is 1 1 into 1 is 1 1 into 1 by e minus 1 so what is my mean value mean value is 1 by e minus 1 are you, I, are you able to get it guys so this is my uh, fourth problem find the mean value of y is equal to log x on closed interval 1 to e f of x is log x and limits are 1 to e then substitute only here it comes a problem if you are able to remember definition that is a uh, formula of uh, log x that is integration of log x is x log x minus 1 x log x minus x from 1 to e then it's okay so once you remember that log 1 value is 0 and log e value is 1 substitute you get answer 1 by e minus 1 if you don't remember this formula that is integration of log x is x log x minus e um, x log x minus x if x common x into log x minus 1 that's it so we return it if you are unable to remember then you write log x as a 1 into what you write you have to write log x as a 1 into log x 1 into log x then apply product rule u is equal to log x v is equal to 1 for u you have to find derivative derivative of log x is 1 by x and for v that is 1 integration integration of 1 is dx so substitute in the product rule integration of u into v into dx is u into integration of v dx minus integration of u dash into integration of v dx all dx substitute you get answer integration of log x is equal to x log x minus x then upper limit minus half lower limit log 1 is 0 and log e is 1 substitute you get answer that is 1 by e minus 1 1 by e minus 1 so this is my answer guys are you getting this is my the fourth problem find the mean value of function y is equal to log x on closed interval 1 to e many times it is repeated for 5 marks many times it is repeated for 5 marks yes this is my the fifth problem find the mean value of x into e power of x on 0 to 1. Find the mean value of x into e power of x on 0 to 1. You see, the function is x into e power of x. What is the function? Function is x into e power of x and interval is 0 to 1. So, what is f of x? 
f of x is x into e power of x and lower limit a is equal to 0 and upper limit b is equal to 1. Lower limit a is equal to 0 and upper limit b is equal to 1. Substitute in the formula. What is the mean value? Do you remember? What is the mean value guys? Mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx. So this is the mean value. Mean is equal to 1 by b minus a. Mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx. So what is b is equal to 1, a is equal to 0 and f of x equal to x into e power of x substitute. So 1 by 1 minus 0 integration 0 to 1 x into e power of x dx. Now you see integration of x into e power of x dx, x into e power of x dx product of two functions you can apply product rule before applying product rule what is a function function and what is a second function x is an algebraic function and e power of x is exponential function in a order i late i l a t e in a order i late a is algebraic function last letter e is exponential function so algebraic comes first then the exponential so u is equal to x and v is equal to e power of x. Derivative of x is 1 and integration of e power of x is e power of x. Now, now you see the formula product rule just now in previous problem we are able to uh, remind you recall you that is integration of u into v into dx is u into integration of v dx minus integration of u dash into integration of v dx all dx this is a product rule so in a log x case what i written log x equal to 1 into log x and log x is u and 1 is v here x into e power of x u is x and v is e power of x derivative of x that is u dash is 1 and integration of e power of x that is integration of v is e power of x substitute u into that is x into integration of v e power of x integration of u dash 1 integration of v is e power of x so x into e power of x minus integration of 1 into e power of x 1 into e power of x is again e power of x so e power of x integration is e power of x so what is that x into e power of x minus e power of x x into e power of x minus e power of x 0 to 1 are you getting guys so what fundamental theorem of integral calculus says the fundamental theorem of integral calculus says that what it says it says that you have to after integration do the integration then apply upper limit minus of lower limit so excuse me yes so after in, uh, doing integration what to do do the integration then substitute upper limit minus of lower limit so we did the integration by product rule that is integration by parts so what's the integration we got x into e power of x minus x now apply upper limit minus of lower limit so at place of x substitute 1 1 into e power of 1 minus e and at place of x substitute 0 0 minus e power of 0 e minus e is 0 e power of 0 is 1 minus 1 into minus plus 1 so answer the mean value is 1 are you, are you able to get it the mean value is 1 so this is my yes i have to erase all these things are you able to get it what we are used here the function is x into e power of x product of two functions x and e power of x x is algebraic exponential is exponential in a order i let algebraic comes first exponential comes next therefore we took u is equal to x and its derivative is 1 and v is equal to e power of x its der integration is e power of x just substituting in the formula one minute one minute guys just we substituted in the formula product rule integration of u into v into dx substituting u is equal to x 
u dash is equal to 1 and integration of u dx is e power of x after integration upper limit minus half lower limit that gives a answer the mean is 1 so you have to remember if you don't remember this integration by part that is product rule go back read by add and come back so integration of u into v into dx is u into integration of v dx minus integration of u dash into integration of v dx all dx so this is my fifth problem shall we go to the next problem so that we can cover more problems what exactly the time left is exactly i think another 15 minutes to go so at least we have to cover uh, the three more problems so let me go to the next problem guys yes this is my next problem find the mean value of x square into e power of x find the mean value of x square into e power of x from x is equal to 1 to x is equal to 3 <coughs> find the mean value of x square is uh, function is x square into e power of x from x is equal to 1 to x is equal to 3 can you try guys can you try for me can you try Find the mean value of x square into e power of x. Function is x square into e power of x. And limits are 1, 2, 3. So what is the mean? What is the mean guys? Mean is equal to 1 by b minus a. Integration a to b f of x dx. So in every problem you have to write the mean formula so that you can remember it well. So what is the mean value? Mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx. So substitute in the given formula. What is a, a equal to 1, b is equal to 3 and function is x square into e power of x. So what is that? 1 by 3 minus 1 integration 1 to 3 x square into e power of x. 1 by 3 minus 1 integration 1 to 3 x square into e power of x dx x square so here x square is an algebraic function and e power of x is an exponential function in a order i let a is an algebraic function and t e is an exponential function algebraic comes first then the exponential so u is equal to x square and v is equal to e power of x. Bernoulli rule, you have to apply Bernoulli rule as a one function is algebraic. So, x square derivative to 2x, 2x derivative to 2, 2 derivative to 0, that's it. And e power of x integration, e power of x, again e power of x integration, e power of x, again e power of x integration, e power of x, any number of times integration of e power of x is e power of x plus minus plus. So, 1 by 2 into 3 minus 1 is 2 that 1 by 2 into e power of x into x square minus 2x plus 2 1 2 3 upper so fun by fundamental theorem of integral calculus after integration apply upper limit minus of lower limit so upper limit is 3 and lower limit is 1 now substitute upper limit minus of lower limit upper limit minus of lower limit so upper limit is 3, 3 square 9, 2 into 3, 6 plus 2, so it is total 5, 5 into e cube minus lower limit is 1, e into 1 minus 2 into 1, 2 plus 2 minus 2 plus 2, cancel, take e common, so what you will get e by 2, e by 2 into 5 e square minus 1, this is my mean value, so what is mean value, e by 2 into 5 into e square minus 1 is a value so in a previous problem what you were able to do it is a uh, in a previous problem in a previous problem Bernoulli rule now in this problem in in now in this problem we used Bernoulli rule and in a previous two problems we used a product rule that is integration by part so all methods are coming ag again here when finding mean value we need a formula we need integration of sin x integration of 1 by 1 plus x square integration of cos x integration of sin x integration of log x all those things integration of e power of x derivatives we are using upper limit minus of lower limit we are using that is definition of definite integral we are using we are using integration by parts we are using Bernoulli rule what not we are using everything so every concept is important then only we can come to the applications
tests once before going uh, coming to the applications you have to learn all formulas all procedures all methods then only this application part becomes very easy so it looks the mean value is very simple formula and finding integration is very simple only when you know all standard formulas that's it guys this is my mean value the sixth problem now my seventh problem is this Find the mean value of f of x is equal to sin square x on 0 to pi. Next problem that is find the mean value of f of x is equal to sin square x on 0 to pi. So what is a function? The function is sin square x. It is very clear the function is sin square x and interval is 0 to pi that is a is equal to 0 b is equal to pi that is lower limit is 0 and upper limit is pi so these things these three things what is f of x what is a a value lower limit what is a b value that is an upper limit everybody able to get by by the formula itself by the problem itself are you getting so now he, he asked us to find mean value so you you are up to now you are able to uh, had this formula you able to remember the formula the mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration into b f of x dx are you getting so mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx that is my mean value here f of x is sin square x and a is 0 b is pi substitute 1 by pi minus 0 integration 0 to pi sin square x 1 by pi minus 0 integration 0 to pi sin square x so we have a formula for sin x we have a formula for cos x we have a formula for sin x we have a formula for cos x but we didn't have the formula for sin square so how to find integration of sin square by fundamental theorem of integral calculus you have to integrate then you have to apply upper limit minus half lower limit so now sin square integration of sin square directly there is no formula for integration of sin square we we have to write the identity sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos theta by 2 so sin square x is 1 minus cos 2x by 2 so this is a formula sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 you have to reference must be given in every problem wherever you are using formulas any formula that the standard formula reference you have to given i written the mean value formula 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx now i am writing sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 okay anyhow this 2 is a constant outside so 1 by 2 pi integration of 1 is x and integration of cos x integration of cos x is sin x integration of cos x is sin x by a now integration of cos 2x is sin 2x by 2 upper limit minus of lower limit 1 by 2 pi outside upper limit pi x at place of x you have to write pi sin 2 pi sin 2 pi that is sin 360 degrees sin 0 that is 0 so this value becomes 0 so pi minus 0 and lower limit minus of lower limit x place of x you have to write 0 and sin 0 value again 0 so this pi 1 by 2 pi into pi and pi and pi cancel the main value is the main value is 1 by 2 are you able to getting are able to get the mean value is 1 by 2 so what we are using here <coughs> very very simple formulas the mean value formula 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x takes then definite integral fundamental theorem of integral calculus integrate then upper limit minus of lower limit but uh, after substitution what we got 1 by pi integration 0 to pi sin square x dx directly there is no formula for sin square we have a formula for sin x cos x sin x cos x but we didn't have a formula for sin square so use the identity sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 that is sin square x equal to 1 minus cos 2 x by 2 2 is constant outside the integration of 1 1 into dx is x and integration of cos 2x is sin 2x by 2 upper limit minus lower limit gives the answer that is 1 by 2 so answer is 1 by 2 <coughs> are you getting guys so this is a, a main value of a function sin square x on 0 to pi on 0 to pi this is my seventh problem how much time left guys exactly it covered i think 40 minutes uh, mm, 
minutes another five to ten minutes so let me quickly cover one more problem and we end the chapter here and the topic here that is mean value very important topic so let us see the last problem this is my last problem you see find the mean value of y is equal to x square minus 4x plus 3 between the values of x where it vanishes read the problem what is given you see find the mean value what you have to find you have to find the mean value mean value of for what function for which function you have to find mean value y is equal to x square minus 4x plus 3 we need to find the mean value for x square minus 4x plus 3 so what is a function f of x is x square minus 4x plus 3 we got f of x now 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 between the values of where uh, between the values the limits what are the limits limits directly not given between the value of x where the expression vanishes that is x square minus 4x plus 3 vanishes vanishes means when it becomes zero so where the, for what values of x is the expression that is x square minus 4x plus 3 is zero at those values between those values you need to find the mean so uh, here what is the slight difference is that is not given the limits it's not given any closed interval line not given any x values you have to find x values where the expression vanishes that's where the expression becomes zero those x values find them and between those x values find the mean value for a given function are you able to get it a very simple slight change in the problem is that the limits are not given we need to find the limits and what are the limits he said the the limits are x values those x values where the given expression that is x square minus 4x plus 3 vanishes that is it becomes zero vanishing means it is becoming zero so take down x square minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0 minus 4 can be written as minus 3 minus x so multiply adding minus 4 and multiply you will get 3 so it is minus 3x minus x so x square minus 3x minus x plus 3 from first two terms take x common you will get x minus x into x minus 3 and next two terms take minus 1 common x minus 3 so now from these two terms take x minus 3 common you get x minus 3 common into x minus 1 equal 0 that is x is equal to 1 comma 3 x minus 3 into x minus 1 is equal to 0 that is x is equal to 1 comma 3 x is equal to 1 comma 3 are you getting guys so now the limits are lower limit is 1 and upper limit is 3 and function is x square minus 4x plus 3 so now every everything is uh, uh, we got it are you getting guys are you getting so what is the difference the limits are not given but the limits what he said is the limits are x values where the given expression x square minus 4x plus 3 vanishes means it becomes 0 so x square minus 4x plus 3 equal to 0 if you take then you got the limits x is equal to 1 comma 3 now limit a is equal to 1 b is equal to 3 function is f of x equal to x square minus 4x plus 3 substitute in the formula so what is the formula we are having mean is equal to mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx so this is a formula you have to know without knowing this standard uh, the mean value formula you cannot further move so mean value is important and remember many times it is came for one mark so mean value of a function is given by 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx substitute so 1 by 3 minus 1 integration 1 to 3 x square minus 4x plus 3 into dx x power of n integration x power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 x square integration x cube by 3 x integration x square by 2 dx integration x upper limit minus of lower limit as per fundamental theorem of integral calculus how to calculate the definite integral is do the integration then substitute upper limit minus of lower limit so that's what 1 by 2 into x cube by 3 minus 2x square plus 3x from 1 to 3 substitute <coughs> substitute upper limit 3 and lower limit 1 3 cube 27 by 3 9 2 into 9 18 3 into 3 9 
So substitute 1, 1 by 3 minus 2 plus 3 plus 9 minus 9 plus 18 minus 18 cancel and here minus 2 plus 3 it is 1, 1 by 3 plus 1 that is 4 by 3 so 2 1 ja 2 2 ja the main value is minus 2 by 3 the main value is minus 2 by 3 so this is my problem are you able to get it very easy guys very easy just to know the formula remember the formula what the formula mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx from given problem what is f of x and what are the limits and substitute in the formula mean value then integrate upper limit minus of lower limit by fundamental theorem of integral calculus then you will able to find the mean value so this is my mean that is minus 2 by 3 are you getting so slight change in the problem is directly the limits are not given what is said the limits are those x values where the expression vanishes vanishes means becoming zero so make equate x square minus 4x plus 3 equate to zero then you got limits x is equal to 1 and 3 then substitute function is x square minus 4x plus 3 and limits are 1 and 3 substitute in the main value formula integrate then apply upper limit minus of lower limit you got the answer that is minus 2 by 3 so this is my class on mean value I given what is the mean value that is 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx is a mean value for a function f of x on a closer interval a comma b that is my formula and we are able to solve 8 problems all are 8 different formula problems one is on simple problem and on integration by parts and we used uh, we used uh, that Bernoulli rule we used sin square theta equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 and the last problem you see where the expression vanishes that is uh, making that quadratic expression equal to 0 and finding limits all types of problems that we are all able to cover in this lesson and now you practice these problems so that you will able to do all any problem of the same on the topic are you getting so this is uh, uh, the lesson now it is a uh, time for giving homework so let me go to the homework part so before giving homework as usual i want to tell one thing what is that read the formula what is the mean value for a function on a closed interval mean is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx this is a mean value and try to practice all problems all types of problems in which we used integration by parts, in which we used the Bernoulli rule, we used trigonometric identities, various standard formula of integration, various methods, various procedures, various steps, various logics. So try to practice all these eight problems on paper. So once you practice, you are able to know how to solve the problem, what formulas you have to remember, what are the logics behind the problem, how step by step is solved and you see in every problem I use the formula so that by listening the lesson itself you are able to remember the mean value is equal to 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx so that's it so now it's time for homework so this is my homework very simple problems I give and find the mean of y, y is equal to x square minus 3x plus 2 on 1 to 2 <coughs> limits are given <coughs> function is given just it is integrate 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx second problem find the mean of y is equal to x square into e power of x on 1 to 5 on 1 to 5 x square into e power of x one is algebraic and another is exponential as first function is algebraic you have to apply Bernoulli rule for first function derivatives and for second function uh, integration cross multiply plus minus plus minus then upper limit minus of lower limit gives answer all uh, these types of problems already we did in the uh, lesson so listen uh, video carefully read the formula practice those eight problems then try to do the homework problems you can easily get these homework problems very easy problems are given but you have to do so that you can understand the concepts so this is the class on main value and it's a problems one more application of definite integral so tomorrow we are going to learn the next application finding root mean square value in short we say rms value of a given function on a closed interval that is also one more a beautiful topic and which covers more marks also so let you 
so that's all for the class uh, so we uh, meet uh, you on the next class with the topic rms value that's it guys thank you thank you very much and see you tomorrow stay safe stay home stay healthy